Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will explain how we can create this electric motor stator in FreeCAD. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you can get the notification of new videos. Now I will open the FreeCAD and if you need the reference picture of this stator, you can download it from internet. Now I will open the FreeCAD and will create a new file. I will upload a reference image in the file file, import, desktop and image. Now you can see that we can't see the image. If we go to the top view from pressing 2, you can see that we can see the reference image. But I want to see the reference image from the front view. Then I will double click on the image and will choose exit plane. Okay. Now you can see that we can see the image from the front view. Now I will click on Windows and Title. In this way, we can see both the files at once. Now I will create a sketch in this file. Click on this file, body, create new sketch, XY plane, OK. Now I will make a circle of 100 millimeter. Circle, diameter 100. Now I will create another circle inside this circle of diameter 55 mm. I will close the sketch and will apply a padding of 40 mm. For making the slots, I will select the top face and will create a new sketch. Then I will create external geometries. And then we'll select a polyline tool and we'll create two lines in this way. Now I will select these two lines and set an angle of 10 degree. Now I will select these two vertices, then middle axis and we'll apply symmetric constraint. Now I will select again these two lines and then we'll click on construction geometries. Now I will select polyline tool and will create the sketch of one slot. Now I will delete redundant constraints and will set some constraints. First, I will select this line and give the dimension of 0.6 mm. Now I will select this one and this line and will apply this constraint. Now I will select this point and this point and will set a height of 0.6 mm. Now I will select this point and this point and set an horizontal distance of 0.6. These two points are not aligned or connected with this line. First I will connect them. I will select this one and will select this one and then apply. Now I will select this one and this one and will apply this one. Now I will set the height between this point and this point. 7.5 mm. I need all these lines at opposite direction of this middle axis. First I will select these lines and then middle axis and will apply symmetry. Now I will select center point curve and will create a curve between this point and this point. Now I will set the diameter of this curve 4.5 mm. I will apply a symmetric constraint between these two points according to the middle axis. Now I will apply a tangent constraint between this arc and this line. I will select a tangent constraint. I will click on this one and this one. OK. Again, this one, this one. OK. Now I will apply a symmetric constraint between this point and this point according to the middle axis. 
and I will make this line and this line equal this line and this line equal now I will close the sketch and select the sketch and will apply pocket and type will be through all now one slot has been created I need 36 slots then I will click on this pocket part design apply pattern and polar pattern I will add the value 36 because I created a sketch of one slot within 10 degree and if I multiply 10 to 36 the 360 will be completed in this way our slots has been completed now I will create these four circles for creating these four circles I will select top face create new sketch okay now I will select circle and we'll make a circle edge here and the diameter of the circle will be 3 mm or I will change it to 5 mm and I will set it here now I will close it I will set the sketch first I will rename it four circles then click on pocket and type will be through all okay I will go to the front view by pressing 2 and the circle has been created now I need to create these four circles first I will select on pocket and I will apply a polar pattern from the toolbar from this icon I will click on it and enter the value 4 click on ok now the four circle has been created now I have to create these creases for creating these creases I will click on top face again will create a new sketch now first I will create external geometries click on this one and will click on this one now I will check the circle and will make two circles one two the, these circles the center of these circles must be on this external geometry first I will select this circle and will select this circle and apply equal constraint this circle must be equal then I will select this point and this point and will middle axis and apply symmetric constraint I will set the diameter of the circles to 5 mm. Now I will set the distance between this point and this point 5 mm. Okay. Uh, I will change the distance from 5 to 10. Mm, I think it may be fine. Now I will close and I will rename it to creases. Then I will select this sketch and apply pocket. And type will be through all. This crease has been completed. Okay. If we want to adjust the size of creases, then I will click on pocket, crease, double click on creases and then I can decrease the size. I will change to 3, ok and the middle distance will be 5, close. I think it's, it's perfect now. Now I want to apply these cuts to the opposite direction. So I will select the pocket and will click on polar pattern and will add the value 2. Now the opposite direction these cuts has been created. Okay. I will go to the front view. Now according to this reference 
our stator has been completed. I have uploaded another reference picture and I want to add these flat faces at this side. For making these faces, first I will select the top face and will create a new sketch. Now I will create a rectangle. Now I will select this point and this point and this middle axis and will apply symmetric constraint. I will move these points a little bit outside. I think this they will be fine. Close. Now I will select this sketch and will apply pocket. And I will do all. Okay. Now we'll apply again polar pattern, click on the pocket, polar pattern, and occurrences will be two. Okay. Now these phases has been completed. Now our stator has been completed. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon so that you can get the notification of new videos. Thank you.